Good morning, good people of St. Camillus. Hope you're doing well these days, keeping safe, keeping healthy. Um, speaking of keeping healthy, just a quick update on Father Chris. As probably you all know by now, Father Chris is over in the hospital. He's still in intensive care, still on a respirator, a ventilator at this point with his pneumonia, but um, they have been able to turn down the percentage of the uh, ventilator so that Chris is doing more breathing on his own. So slowly but surely, he's um, taking little steps toward progress. He still has a way to go in front of him, but we pray, and with your prayers, we pray that Chris will continue to recover. At this point, they're still saying it's pneumonia. He tested negative twice for COVID, but um, well, who knows these days? Anyway, we pray that, that he will uh, continue to improve and to do well. I think it's a pretty universal human experience that none of us like food or drink that's been diluted, that has been watered down. Somehow when things get watered down, whether it's your beer or whether it's your soup or whether it's some sort of meal, we don't like things that are diluted to the point where they lose their taste. It's why bother even, even drinking or eating it when it's been diluted and lost its flavor, lost its oomph, lost its, um, its real strength and ability. The same is true with our faith. Jesus and uh, the Gospels and the Bible invite us many, many times not to dilute our faith, not to water it down, not to, if you will, domesticate the Gospel, domesticate the teachings of Jesus to the point where they lose their teeth, where really they're not um, worth much anymore because they've been so deluded down. And that's the message we hear in both of our readings today. In the first reading from the first book of Kings, we have Elijah the prophet speaking to the people and saying, how long will you straddle the issue? How long will you have one foot here and one foot there? And how long will you continue to be hopping back and forth between one foot and the other foot? One minute you're, I'm for God. The next minute, well, God, what God asks of me is a little too difficult. So maybe I'll settle for something else. And so Elijah says to the people, how long? How long are you going to straddle the issue? If the Lord is your God, follow him. And if Baal, a pagan god of the Canaanites, if you want to follow something or someone else, follow that. But stop being in the middle, dancing from one foot to the other foot. Sometimes I believe in the gospel. Sometimes I'll follow gospel values. And other times when they get a little bit too demanding for us, no, maybe I'll settle for the ways of the world. Don't dilute uh, make a decision and follow it is what I, Isaiah is asking the people when they were tempted to turn away from the ways of God and to follow the ways of well, other ways uh, of the world that aren't God's ways. And Jesus, in a very similar way in the gospel today, says, don't think I've come to abolish the law or, or the prophets. I haven't come to dilute them. I haven't come to domesticate them. I haven't made, come to make them easier. I've come not to abolish, but to fulfill. I've come to help train you to understand and to live the law in its intensest way. And what that intense way is, live the law, which is a law of love. Love God and love neighbor, and all of the laws meant to focus your heart in such a way that you are truly loving God and loving others as God intends. Hmm? Uh, so it's not a dilution, Jesus says. It's almost a, a magnification, like with a magnifying glass that concentrates the intensity of the sun. It concentrates the intensity of God's law, which is to love God and to love neighbor with all our mind and heart and soul and strength. When I was reflecting on these passages from the Bible today from our Mass, there came into my mind an old saying of Mahatma Gandhi that I think is basically saying the same thing to us. One time Gandhi said, I like 
your Christ. But I do not like your Christians because your Christians are so unlike your Christ. Oftentimes we dilute the message of the gospel to the point where we don't even look like Christ anymore. And that's the point of our faith, that we become other Christs in our world today. So let's pray for the grace to truly allow the law of Christ, the law of love, to take more and more possession of our hearts so that we may be Christ-like, so that we may live the gospel with its intensity, with its focus on love. May God give you peace. May God give you strength. May God be with you in these days. Amen.